welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. Today I'll be unboxing and flipping through the Jim Henson's Dark, The Dark Crystal Tarot Deck and Guidebook. This is published by Inside Editions and Inside Editions did send me this for the purposes of review and I'm super excited to get into it. I love the art style. So the artist on this deck is Tomas uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce his surname. I wish someone would correct me and tell me in the comments how to pronounce his surname. Uh, I don't know if it's Hayo or Hijo or Hio. I'm, I'm not, honestly, I really don't even know. And it's literally four letters. So I, I should be literally, I, I feel stupid, but I'm not sure how to pronounce his surname. And the guidebook is ri written by, I believe, Casey Gilly. Um, yes, Casey Gilly. So I'm super excited to get into it. I really love this um, artist's art style. It's actually really cool because he does everything by hand, I believe. I looked him up and looked into his, like, art, the way he does his art. It's pretty much, like, wood that he, like, carves, carves into the, the 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 card and then i think they stain some portions of the of the wood or whatever to show the the shapes or whatever it's really cool i don't know just look them up it's honestly really really cool now i will preface before getting into this that i'm pretty sure this will be a pip deck i have not gone into it and looked at anything but i'm pretty sure it will be a pip deck. Now, I know a lot of people have a, a problem with with that, and that's fine. You don't need to like pip decks. Pip decks, if you don't wish to like pip decks, it's really up to you. But I feel like because this artist is from Spain, um, so this is a Spanish artist. He he lives in Spain. Um, I feel like his inspiration. And this is totally my opinion. I don't, this is not factual. I don't know if this is factual or, or what, but I feel like because he lives in Spain, I feel like his decks really probably take, um, homage or like inspiration from Spanish playing cards. So if you've ever seen a Spanish playing card deck, which are also used for divination in Spain, um, they are literally pips. The, they're, that's what they are. They're, it's a pip deck. Spanish playing cards um so I feel like that's what he takes inspiration from because he lives in Spain but anyway that's just an opinion of mine that I don't know if that's factual or what I, I do not know this artist <laughs> personally so I actually don't know but that's the feeling that I have or the kind of assumption that I'm thinking uh when it comes to his decks because all of his decks are pip so the tarot del toro which little uh little secret for those who are watching it's coming in october for spooky month so definitely stay tuned um and you know he did the lord of the rings he did the labyrinth tarot he did this one did he do any others i think that's it i think those are the ones that he did and uh the you know del toro one that was like the first deck that that um he did for inside editions and that was done a while back that was like 2019 or something like that so you know he that's what he does he does pip and in, in my opinion all of them have been pip up until now so i'm going to assume that this is also pip and because of the amount of work that goes into some of the things that i've seen him doing when i search up what kind of art like he does because i wanted to know what this was you know it, it seemed really cool so i wanted to know like is he painting in this style? Like what? It's actual him like carving out wood pieces and <laughs> and like making grooves to make a, f a picture. I'm just like, whoa, this probably takes forever. Just <laughs> imagine, imagine doing this for just like the, tw the main 22 cards, like, whoa. And then having to do like a whole bunch of like a whole deck. That's a lot of work, <laughs> in my opinion. So, yeah, I'm just going to assume that it's Pip. So let's get into it with that assumption. I'm going to tell everyone else watching to go into that with that assumption before, if you haven't seen, like, the inside of this deck. Now, this deck does release on August 22nd. So when you're watching this, 
you still have time to pre-order it uh, if you're interested in pre-ordering it and everything will be linked in the description box below of where you can find this deck legitimately so without further ado let's get into it let's get into it because i've been talking way too much so this is the cover i really like it i did notice a really cool detail i don't know if you can see the really cool spot gloss that's on the cover I honestly did not notice this at all when they sent it to me and then I had it placed on a shelf and I the sun hit it and I was like whoa wait there's something really cool <laughs> so you can see by the light how cool is this it's so interesting honestly I love it so of course the signs here have you know words by we have inside editions here we go this is the art so cool we have some eyeballs <laughs> i will uh say also that i've never seen this movie just like i've never seen the labyrinth uh the labyrinth movie i should really watch these they're from the 80s this is the inside we have a ribbon like usual honestly their decks are pretty standard when it comes to um the quality it's usually the same so you always have a ribbon inside and whatnot okay so we're gonna get into the book first so this is the guidebook no surprises with this one okay we have a cool crystal in the back okay let's see here so we have an introduction we have understanding your deck the major arcana then we go into the minor. So it seems like they've changed the suit names to shards, vials, stones, and gems. Interesting. I'm going to have to check out what's what. Um, dream fasting with your deck. Preparing to read. The tarot. Shapes of kindness. Time to make my move. Wall of destiny. About the author. About the illustrator. Okay. So welcome to the age of wonder. Okay, so it says here, so shards are wands, okay, vials are cups, that makes sense, that makes sense, stones are going to be swords, okay, stones provide advice regarding personal power, logic, ambition, intellect, and communication, that's cool. So it says that um stones can build a house but they can also be used to tear one down reflecting the duality of the suit okay that's interesting interesting then we have gems and gems are pentacles that makes sense because you know gems are usually like precious they're beautiful so they definitely represent a more wealth and like finance obviously financial stability and wealth and whatnot so they they showcase money pretty much <laughs> so that makes sense in my opinion okay so we go into the major arcana okay so we have a full image of the card we have the title we have who is in the card so this is jen which character we have a little uh, blurb at the top we have uh, upright and reversed so let's just see if we have, so we do have that information for everything. I should really watch this movie and see who these people are. So it seems like we, we have the information um, of who everyone is within the cards. Okay, so I'll make sure to mention that as we go through through the, the, the cards to see who that is. Okay. So we start with the suit of shards, which is wands. And it says here, uh, we have the information for the um, quartz, like who's in the card. Of course, the only thing that's different between the majors and the minors is that we don't have that extra blurb at the top. We just have the re upright and reverse meanings. We have a smaller version of the card also for each. Yeah, and I was right. See, it's going to be a pip deck. So, 
so yes I knew it okay same thing for same thing for um, the rest it seems like okay so let's skip through that and go to the back yeah okay the back so we have dream fasting with your deck interesting can we have a little ritual I guess two made ones so we have a card spread preparing to read the tarot we have oh we have another spread here uh, shapes of kindness another spread time to make your move wall of destiny so we have four spreads it seems like okay okay so what do we have here we have about the author mother of a young goblin <laughs> i love it <laughs> whoa my little pony oh my god casey gilly should make a my little pony deck with inside editions i would love that but specifically the friendship is magic because i love that series and the ponies are so cute but anyway i digress uh star wars yeah, she's the one who did the Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't have that deck. I do want it, but I heard there was issues with the guidebook, so I want to wait until they fix the guidebook on that. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, so he illustrates books, which is cool. Printmaking. That's really awesome. Wow, his work is in galleries in Europe and the United States. Oh, that's so cool. So he's done the he's done um art for J.R.R. Tolkien's books. That's really cool. So he was the artist for Lord of the Rings, for the Lord of the Rings tarot, which I don't have and really need to get. I don't even know what, why I don't have that yet, but um, that's amazing. That's amazing. I really do like his art style. It's really cool. Honestly, really look him up. He has a website and his art is like really, really sick. I love it. So these are the backs. I love them they're really cool okay let's get into the cards and then we'll read from the guidebook afterwards all oh, right i wanted to say who each person was because i am not familiar with these characters so <laughs> do i actually want to though some of these names look hard Ooh, some of these names are complicated yeah maybe uh, i'm gonna try my best okay <laughs> no promises that anything i say is right but i'm gonna try my absolute best so here we have the fool um featured in the fool is jen then we have the magician and featured in the magician is onika and apologies for the planes. There's like so many planes passing by. I don't even know what is going on. It's like plane central. And I don't even live anywhere near an airport. So I don't I don't even know why they're so overhead all the time. Oops, sorry, I hit my camera. Apologies. Then we have the high priestess, and the high priestess is Aghir? Uh Agra? 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 I'm honestly, again, really not sure um, how to pronounce these. Just going to move that over a bit. I try my best. I really need to watch this movie, though. Um, then we have the Empress, which is Kira. I love his art style. Like, she looks so pretty with those big eyes. Okay, and then for the emperor, 
We have Sexo, Sexo, Sexo. Then for the Hierophant, we have Sexoc, Sexoc, Sex, Sexoc, the Ritual Master. I'm going to have to find out where I can watch this <laughs> in Canada because I have no clue. Then for the Lovers, we have uh, Rianne and Mira. Oh, I love that. The the first the only first line is you don't need to dream fast to know that this is true love. That's so cute. I love it. Then for the chariot, we have Gordon. 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 Strength, we have Farah. Then in the hermit, we have your son, the monk. So cool. So cool. Then for the wheel of fortune, we have your Ut, the weaver. Then for justice, we have Yurak, the scribe. Interesting. That's so cool. Then for the hanged man, we have Yorva, the archer. Then for death, we have Celadon. I love the colors in this card. So nice. Then for temperance, we have Urza, the ritual guardian. So cool. Look. They have like a sand pouring in or some kind of like... Uh, yeah, I think colored sand. Colored sand pouring in from one hand to the other, and then pouring out from from this little from this little uh, branch here. That's so awesome. I really like that a lot, actually. Then the devil is the darkening. Ooh, so creepy! Like, oh my god, what in the world? Oh my god, I love it. Then we have. The tower, which is the castle of the crystal. Okay. I love the star card. She's so pretty. Then we have, um, yeah, the star. And the star is Deet. Deet. So cute. I really like the colors. Okay, then we have the moon. It's a giant ass crab. Uh, the moon is the three sisters. Cool. Three sisters. <laughs> then we have the sun, and the sun is the three suns. Oh, okay. There's three moons and three sisters. Uh, three, yeah, three moons. Three. Yeah, three moons called the three sisters, and then you have the three suns. Interesting. <laughs> Look at this judgment card. <laughs> uh, 
this is so cool. Okay, so uh, Judgment is Fizzgig. Fizzgig. Oh my god, he has teeth within his mouth. That's so weird. Reminds me of that worm. Okay, then we have the world, and the world is Song of Thyra. Okay, that's cool. Okay, let's see here. Going into the minors. Okay, so the King of Shards, which is King of Wands, uh, this is Yurgog, Yurgo, Yurgo, Yurgo the Wanderer. So cool. And then we have the Queen of Shards, which is Bria. Then we have the Knight of Wands, Knight of Shards, which is Thorma. It's so cool. Look at the, the fire. Sorry. I have, like, a tripod right in front of my face, so it's hard to do things. Okay. Thorma. Okay, and then lastly, the Page of Shards, which is the Page of Wands, we have Kensho. Kensho. Riding something. Does it say what Kensho is riding? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let me just set up the pages because the other ones don't are not associated with a character. Uh, so we have the Ace of Wands. I love the Ace. The Ace is beautiful. Oh my God, this plane is so loud. What is going on? So many planes. Okay, then we have the two. It's interesting. We have the three. This is going to be great to use with numerology. Honestly, I really love this. Um, we have the five. We have the six. We have the seven. We have the eight. The nine. And then lastly, the ten. It's cool. Okay, then we get into the vials, which is cups. And we have the king of vials, which is Landstrider. Landstrider. Interesting. No idea who that is. That's cool. Very long legs. Then we have the Queen of Cups, Queen of Vials, which is Naya. Okay, turn the page here. Then we have the Knight of Vials, Knight of Cups, which is Rickier. <laughs> What's he writing? It's <laughs> so funny looking. Then we have the Page of Vials, which is Page of Cups, and it's Lore. We have the Ace of Vials. I love this. Oh, so beautiful. We have the Two. The three, we have the four, the five, six, seven, eight, 
9, and 10. So nice. Huh. That's cool. Okay, let's see here. What do we have next? Okay, we have the stones. Okay, so the king of stones, which is the king of swords, is Sexil the Chamberlain. Hopefully I'm pronouncing these names right. If I'm not, I, I honestly, I said in the beginning, it's going to be hard for me. I don't know these characters. I'm trying my best. That's really all I can say. <laughs> okay, then we have the Queen of Stones, who is Mayrin the All Modra. Modra? Modra. Modra? Modra? Then we have the Knight of Stones, who is, let's see here, so the Knight of Stones with the Knight of Swords is Ordon. Ordon. This guy actually has a sword. Then we have the Page of Stones, which is the Page of Swords, and they are Tevra. Tevra? Tevra? And then we go into the ace. So cool. Two. The three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, then we get into the gems, which I believe is the last suit, which is pentacles. So let me just skip all of that. Okay. So the king of gen gems, uh, king of pentacles, is... Sexshad the Treasurer. That's who the King of Gems is. Then we have the Queen of Gems, which is Yirdra. Okay, then we move on to the Knight of Gems, which is Hup. Hup? And then uh, last of the courts is the Page of Gems, which is Kylan. Kylan? 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 And then we have the Ace. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and lastly, ten. Pretty. The art style is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, in terms of cardstock, so the cards are tiny bit wider than standard tarot, just like a smidge. Not too bad. Not too bad in my opinion, honestly. That's pretty decent. I just hit the camera. Apologies. Now, um, <clears throat> in terms of cardstock, they are matte. They feel nice. Like, they're, they feel soft. Um, 
Kind of reminds me of the um one of the decks that I have from Hay House. Um, they kind of use this kind of cardstock, which is nice. I I don't know if this is similar to any of the other ha um, Inside Editions decks that I have in terms of cardstock. I feel like the other ones that I have are way more mattes and not as soft. So I really like this, actually. The, the cardstock is nice. But I do have a deck from Hay House, I think. I feel like obviously Hay House decks are, are the cards are wider because they're Oracle size, but I feel like it would be a similar, similar feel. I'm trying to remember which one it is. Let me think for a second. Perhaps, um, the law of positivism Oracle. I feel like that had a similar kind of cardstock, very smooth, uh, which is really nice. I actually really like this. Um, it's not bad in terms of shuffling. This is obviously the first time that I've shuffled, so I feel like uh, with use, it'll probably loosen up. I have other decks from Inside Editions that I've bought myself um, that have been um, sticky in the beginning, but with use, they loosen up and eventually I have no issues shuffling with them. So I'm going to assume that the same thing will happen with this uh, with use. I'm excited to use this deck, actually. It's cute. I don't know who any of these characters are, but I'm really digging it. Like, I'm digging it. Someone who actually knows this movie and is a fan of this movie, let me know in the comments below what you think of the associations that they did. Um, since I'm not familiar with the characters, I can't really say... I need to watch this movie, though. I can't really say, like, um... Uh, I can't really say if the associations are good or not in regards to, like, the major arcana and like the court cards so let me know if you're familiar with these characters if them being in the specific cards that they are matches up with that character um i haven't read the guidebook or anything which i will be in a in a second so we'll see how the guidebook reads and how they associate the character in the book but just from like the imagery let me know in the comments what you think because i'd love to hear from people who are actually familiar with this movie and familiar with these characters okay so let's read a minor okay so we have a major here now that's another major okay we have the knight and i want to read one minor card let's see oh okay on the other side we had shards <laughs> look death i love the death card the death card is actually really nice okay so we're gonna read in the order that i pulled them okay let's see here okay we're gonna start with judgment and then move our way Judgment. Okay, so judgment is oh yeah, fizz gig. <laughs> so funny. Okay, don't stand in the way of natural order. You are meant for greatness. Upright. Fizz gig saves the shard of the division, securing his destiny to ascend to something greater. If judgment appears in your reading, it means that you are on the same trajectory. Use your intuition and follow your fierce instincts as you approach an upcoming decision. Reversed. Everyone has setbacks when they take risks, like being thrown into the shaft of the castle. Don't judge yourself too harshly and don't let guilt distract you from your path. That's cool. I like that. So I'm guessing this guy was thrown in a shaft of the castle. <laughs> That's what set him back. I need to find this movie and read it and watch it to see what's going on. 
So that's what I read for Fizz Gig. Cool. I love it. Okay, so then we have the Knight of Vials. Knight of Vials. Let's see. Knight of Vials. Nope, I missed that. Here we go. Okay. Knight of Vials. Rekir. I believe is how you pronounce that. Not sure. Apologies if I did mispronounced it. Upright. Charming. Char uh, charismatic. Charismatic. Uh, and suave. Uh, the Knight of Vials infuses your reading with an appreciation for beauty and a longing for romance. You may be feeling pulled by your heart with your attention turning toward volunteering, caring for a friend, or even pursuing a crush. Uh, let your emotions lead you and don't be afraid to let your hands, feet, head, and life belong to what you love. Reversed. The reverse knight finds you, like Rick here, not ready, not quite ready to explore new territory. You may be you may feel locked into plans you're making, preferring to pour your energy into planning, ideating, and imagining instead of acting. Dreaming is important, but make sure you're being realistic. Otherwise, your ideas will never take shape. Okay. I wonder what it is that this guy is writing. <laughs> cool. So this is what I read for Rick here. Okay, and then we have the three of shards. Shards. Three of shards. Upright. This card speaks to travel, adventures, and self-discovery. Step out of your comfort zone and go where you are called. Reversed. When reversed, this card indicates a reluctance to leave your comfort zone. Perhaps you see the opportunities available to you, but you aren't, but you just aren't ready for them. Take some time to examine your reluctance. Is the fear the source? Is fear the source? Perhaps it's an inversion to change. Challenge, challenge yourself to say yes. It's interesting. I'm trying to like, I wonder if the comfort zone is this uh, part here. It's like through. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But it's cool. There's like a lot that you can take from this specifically. Obviously, you can read it this way. You can read it like typical RWS because it's a pip deck. You can do literally whatever you want with it, honestly. You could read uh, based on the interpretations in the book. You can read based on your own knowledge of RWS, Thoth, Marseille, whatever you'd like. Or you can read by numerology um, or by suit, suit information and numerology which I like to do when it comes to pep decks, in, in my opinion. So I like the information in the guidebook. It seems to take or bring in at least where there's characters a little bit of the information from the, from the original, whatever, I'm guessing movie. I'm assuming this was originally a movie or was this a book? I don't know. I know nothing about this um, franchise. So definitely let me know in the comments below if it was uh, specifically a movie or a book or what. But either way, it seems interesting. I actually want to watch the movie now based on this uh, deck um, to see what's going on and what happens and see what the characters are like and whatnot. Um, but I love the art style of this particular deck. I love his art style, like Tomas. He has a really nice art style. So I'm excited to actually use this deck in my own personal practice and just see, I guess, what how it reads, where it takes me. Um, yeah, and just see really what it's like. This, I think, is the first... Is this the first Tomas deck I own? Yeah, this is the first Tomas deck that I own. I really want the um, Lord of the Rings uh, tarot. I don't have that one, and I really want it. Um... Because I think it's like really cool. I think they have like a they have like a few decks that are coming out in mega size, which I prefer regular size cards. I don't really mega size is a 
little too uh, big for me. But I also know that they have some gift sets coming out as well uh, that I've been seeing around that I've been adding to my upcoming releases list. So, yes, but I, I think if I get the Lord of the Rings, it'll probably be the standard edition, in my opinion. It's good old standard edition but i am excited nonetheless to use this particular deck um i think also is this related by any chance to the labyrinth also or is that a is that by jim henson but like a different like a whole different movie a whole different thing because i don't know i don't know let me know that too in the comments because I'm not really familiar with this franchise. So definitely let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to be educated by people who actually know this stuff. So just leave some comments down below and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on that bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated and it helps me in the long run. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.